of the Ferrari Testarossa. It's a 124 scale model by Tamiya. Uh, this is an older Ferrari. It's also an older kit, but uh, I'm expecting some good details from Tamiya. Some pictures here of the uh, model. It uh, only has one side mirror, which I'm uh, not a fan of. And that's the older kits. Open up here and have a look. This one I bought online and it's already been started. Let's pull out all these pieces and we'll have to have a look. Mm, lots of pieces here. So let's start off with the body. Here you can see this is classic quality from Tamiya. Look at the quality of that molding. There's no areas between the grill. There's one little tiny area there that only gets sanded out. That's just really, really good quality molding from Tamiya. Same thing with this front grill. One tiny little area need to get sanded out. But the fact that it's been molded in just tells you the quality. It's much easier to sand this out than it is to drill out the whole thing. We have our wheels. And uh, there's a pretty good quality here. And uh, chrome looks reasonable. This is the rear engine cover. And again, the level of uh, molding quality there is exceptional. You can see the uh, Ferrari emblem logo there. These are our radiators. The inside, that's already been put on. Mm, too much glue. You can see the glue's run over there. Here are our seats. And a little rough there. These are the insides of the doors, the strakes. Need to get sanded down there. So those will go inside there like that. Here we have a almost empty sprue. We've got two little pieces left on the sprue here. And uh, here's our cockpit with so some details the inside molding there of the center console. Grill parts here. Here's our dashboard. Hopefully we're gonna have a decal there for the instrument cluster. We have some drive parts here, suspension, here we have uh, exhausts and uh, drive shafts, they've already put part of this together, uh, this is probably going to be the front, and uh, lights that can go up and down, we've got our other uh, these are our brakes for the wheels. And let's have a look over here. Looks like the inside of the wheel well. Engine parts here. Wheel parts. Some additional engine parts, suspension parts. Fairly well molded. No flashing. Good. Here's some suspension parts, here's our steering rack uh, to turn, here's the corners, more suspension parts. I always like it when they mold the uh, windshield wipers separately, Add it, adds that extra detail. And we have the inside of our doors, here's our pedal box, stick shift, uh, pop-up headlights. So maybe our e-brake there and uh, our single mirror. Let's have a look at this. Fortunately, this is jammed in there and really badly glued. So that's going to require a lot of sanding there to get this glue off. Um, looks like they've built the engine, did not paint it. They tried to mount it. Glue, glue, glue everywhere. 
and uh, exhaust. Oh, this is really bad. It's going to require a fair amount of disassembly to get that uh, off and then all these parts sanded down and repainted. It looks like we have one of these poly caps there. We're missing some more. Here's our steering wheel, and let's have a look inside at our instructions. Ah, this tells you the disaster that this was. So, here are the details about the Ferrari Testarossa. It's one of those classic Ferrari looks. It shows you the uh, all the reasons for having those strakes and vents. Here are the, uh, well, here's the start of the engine. That's already been started. It'll need to be dismantled, most of it, and painted. And uh, we'll then mount that, put on our exhausts, and then uh, put on the uh, wheels and the suspension parts. More suspension parts here, this is for the front. And as they're mounted on the chassis, then build the rest of the engine bay, including the radiators. And uh, start to build the cockpit with dashboard. Wheels then go on, cockpit goes on the uh, chassis, put the lights in, and uh, and then put the um, uh, glass on the body, body's put together, lights up or down, I'll leave them down. And then uh, last few body pieces, lights and so on. Here's the painting guide. So all in all, that's a really good quality model. I like the fact that the engine's modeled separately. Uh, unfortunately, my one has already been started. Um, but that is a really good quality model.